one prompt that will change everything in your career that will make you super productive that will save your time that will help you earn money and lot of other things as well only one prompt in this video i am going to share single chat gpt prompt you just need to copy and paste it that's it it will make chat gpt to do everything for you whatever it might be whatever the task it might be chat gpt will do it for you like a powerful personal assistant what is that prompt actually like before revealing that prompt i will share a few things about how chat gpt really works you might have been uh, i mean hearing about this term called prompt engineering frequently these days prompt engineering is all about making the most out of generative ai tools like chat gpt or mid journey because anyone can ask uh, inputs to chat gpt or any other ai tool but the thing is not everyone can make the most out of those tools like if you ask a random question to chat gpt chat gpt will give you a random answer that's it but if you know how to get the best out of chat gpt then you will be having the more demand in the coming years in the coming months as well so that is the reason why prompts are very important i have also wrote a book called prompt engineering which you will see here which explains the same thing you will find the link in the description as well the context of this video is to help you with a single prompt uh, you might be a chat gpt plus user or you are just using chat gpt of free it doesn't matter it will work for both the users free users and paid users as well what you have to do is like i have given the prompt in the description of this video just copy that prompt and i will show you how you can use that prompt to make the most out of chat gpt so this is the prompt that i have pasted in the description you will see the series prompt in the description just copy this let's go through this prompt once like what does actually uh, this prompt mean in general if you ask chat gpt something it will think as a neutral uh, ai engine and it will give you answer based on the data that it was trying like if you ask about finance it will give you the information based on the finance data that it has been trying but assume this what if chat gpt act as an expert in particular field give you answers based on the expertise if you are asking about finance then what if chat gpt ultimately act as an financial expert or someone who has vast financial knowledge and give you the answer there is a difference right chat gpt giving an answer in a neutral way and chat gpt giving the answer as an expert of a specific field so that is what we are going to uncover with this prompt if you closely observe this prompt in general um, like it was created by professor synapse like um, i mean the entire prompt that you are seeing now is created by professor synapse like i am giving credit to him and if you can see it's basically a conductor of expert agents in general uh, prompt engineering if you understand prompt engineering prompt engineering work in the way that if you ask something chat gpt need to uh, memorize the data that it has been trained but by using this prompt it will act as an expert agent based on the topic or question that you have asked if you can see Uh, ignore the initial things but these are the steps that we will uh, ask us start each interaction by gathering context relevant information and clarifying the user's goal by asking them questions so in general if you ask question chat gpt will, will directly give you response like it will not ask you reverse questions and all but if you use this prompt uh, i will show you how you can use this you don't need to use it every time i will show that uh, in the i mean coming minutes but if you i use this prompt chat gpt will ask you reverse questions it will get the complete context from you before giving you the answer so that it will give you efficient answer and do the task for you and if you can see the second point is when the user has confirmed initialize synopsis or so synopsis or is all about like it will assign itself a expert i will show you in the practical way and in the third step if you can see support the user until the goal is accomplished it will not just give you answer and the task is done it will give you answers until you get satisfied it will make sure that you are satisfied with the answer that is the important thing and it has some commands like start save reason settings and all but yeah like i hope you have copied this now what i will do is like um like i have a list of 100 plus ai tools uh, in my notion page i am just downloading that i will just exporting that as a gif file i will show you how you uh, i mean how it would be useful i have downloaded that let's open chat gpt now. i said like you can use it in free version and paid version as well first i will show you the paid version of it and later i will go to the uh, free version if you have a chat gpt plus subscription then follow my instructions so in the bottom you will find custom instructions if you are a plus user just open that in the top like write whatever you want about uh, yourself and in the bottom 
you need to paste the command that you have prompt that you have copied done that's it now uh, in gpt4 there are three options like the default gpt4 advanced data analysis and plugins advanced data analysis is also called code interpreter it was changed to advanced data analysis recently so now what you have to do is like you have pasted the command in the custom instructions now i have downloaded the zip file of 100 plus ai tools right i will just upload that now that i have uploaded the file so what i will ask chat gpt is like I want data analysis of this file. Just click enter. Now it has given me this input. So it is, show, uh, it is just uh, introducing itself as Professor Synapse and it is giving the commands. And in the end, it is asking what kind of data analysis are you looking for? So if you see the file here, it has uh, different categories of AI tools listed it has around 11 categories so what I want is like I want to classify the AI tools in that document and visualize them in a more effective way so it is what I am asking Excellent, you are interested in classifying AI tools mentioned in the document. Shall I go ahead and unzip the file? I said yes. So it's asking me in a step-by-step -step way. Like you don't need to, uh, I can say, ask everything in a single prompt because if you use this prompt from now, like whatever you do with uh, ChatGPT Plus, it will directly ask you the questions one by one so that it will only give you output once it is uh, clear about what you are looking for, but not just give you a blind input. If you can see, uh, it said, it has successfully unzipped the file and it found the following contents. It is asking me which of these files you'd like to focus on for classifying, visualizing AI tools. I want meta analytics of the tools available in the files so i'm just asking some meta analytics of like what are the tools available and some numbers based on that i want to see the categories and number of tools under each category it is what i am asking now now if you can see here it is assigning itself as an expert in data analysis because the reason is like i am asking about analytics and i said like i want to do some data analysis on the file then it itself assigning as an expert in data analysis so like it is what we were trying to achieve using this prompt. We want ChatGPT to act, act as an expert in uh, so and so field based on the input that we give, based on the data that we are providing. Yes, it is asking my consent to start it. Yeah, it is working in the background. If you want to see, you can also see like how it is doing in the background. It will write Python code and it will do whatever it needs to give us the output by itself. You don't need to do anything. It has successfully loaded the data and it is giving me all the meta information that I asked like the categories and what are the uh, columns that it has in the file and all and it asking my concept again I am just clicking I'm just writing yes you can also see the work that it is doing in the background if you click that I will also show the free version um, after a few minutes. Now, like it has given me, uh, I mean the number of categories and the number of tools under each category. If you can see, it is it has given me the information like audio, business, cooperating, and number of tools under each category and all. And next step, like it is asking to visualize the data. 
I'm just clicking yes. It is asking me the consent again to give me what uh, I mean to give me the visualization like my pie chart or bar chart. I'm just asking pie chart because it has given me the data. Now I want to see that in a more visual way. Again, it is working in the background to create a pie chart that I have requested. Done. It has finally given me a pie chart based on the input that I asked. If you can see, Chart GPT does the complete data analysis for the input that I have given. The input that I gave is a list of 100 plus tools. It is amazing, right? Finally, now I got the meta information as well as the pie chart. Now, um, I mean, I have shown how you can do that using Chart GPT plus subscription. Similarly, uh, just copy the command again, copy the prompt again. So if you are a chat GPT free user, you don't have the plus, I will show you how you can do that. You need to select 3.5 because it is the default in free version. You have to just paste this in the first column. That's it. Now you can do whatever you want. The only thing that that is a difference here is like in chat GPT plus you can just add that in custom instruction section just need to paste this prompt here and now you can do the similar thing that I have done in chat GPT plus but yeah all you have to do is like just need to paste this as a first message in the chat that's it only thing that you need to do in the free version I hope you find it helpful this is how you can use single prompt in chat GPT to make it done everything for you not only that I have shown you only one example because that is a complex thing I just upload the zip file and ask it to uh, again to do the data analysis it itself assign a role called data analyst expert and it gave me the results based on that similarly you can do whatever it might be if you want to build a web application if you want to build a plugin if you want to use it for uh, again the studying like you want to learn a programming language do the similar thing chat GPT will only leave you once you are clear about uh, the programming language or whatever it teaches you so it is a very powerful way to use ChatGPT as a personal assistant because whatever the role it might be ChatGPT will itself assign a role so that you will get the expert knowledge on everything that you wish to get from ChatGPT I hope you find it helpful please like this video and share this new network also if you want to get more such videos like this please subscribe to the channel thank you for watching